All right, you guys want to see a game where we talk about everybody drops pieces? So here's a game that I played. Um, I was the black pieces. My opponent um, is the white pieces. We're rated about the same. Um, standard opening, he leads with e4. I respond with e5. Now he brings out his queen. This is known as the wayward queen attack. Um, I've seen it a couple times, and I know a couple of responses to it. Um, but the things to point out are um, this queen can go here, here, or here, right, from its position. Each one of these pieces, these this, these pawns, need to be protected. Well, this one is protected, or defended. This one is defended, and this one is not. So the way you respond to that is by bringing your knight out so that it can defend, which is what I do. Um, otherwise, typically what happens is this queen sneaks over, grabs a pawn, puts me in check, I have to scramble to, to block, and then they tuck their queen back away somewhere handily. Uh, this player then proceeds to drop this bishop down, which this is an early checkmate. So the threat here is if I do something wrong, let's say I go over here, um, that's checkmate, game over. So that's how fast that game could go. It could be over that quick. Um, but if we look at how the game took place, let me get rid of this. Um, I know that that's check, check, checkmate bait. So the way to protect against that is this knight to the edge move. Yeah, I know, I know, I just literally said knights to the edge are dead, but this knight protects this piece, so it protects against checkmate. He makes a pawn move, and I didn't see it. Do you see it? Because I didn't see it. So by making this pawn move, yes, he props up this bishop. So this bishop is in a great spot. What I didn't see was this right here. That, that move not only props up that bishop, but frees that bishop as well. The dark square bishop is staring right down at my knight. Now, my knight has to stay there. It's not as simple as, oh, well, if he takes, I can just take back. Because that knight right now is the only thing that is protecting me from checkmate. So what I should do is this move right here. And you can see it right on the, on the, um, the databases. They say g6. By doing that, it stops this queen from being able to get to um, checkmate. Um, and it also puts pressure on this queen. And now, typically what happens is, is that the queen from here can now drop back and still put pressure on this square. So now I have to still watch for that checkmate. Um, which case, the next most likely moves is probably this. Yeah, queen to e7 is a good one. Um, knight to d4. I don't know how, oh yeah, because knight to d4 says, um, that's fine if you want to eliminate there, because I can eliminate there. So again, this knight is crucial to preventing checkmate on this square. So let's see how, how the game took place. He moves up, I don't spot it. I'm thinking I need to get my knight out, or my bishop out, so I can get my bishop here. So this is what I'm thinking, is I wanna get here so that I can stop this guy from slicing through, force him to trade, um, basically put an extra defender here. That's my thought process, which if you wanna look at what the engine says, everything's fine. Like this is a dangerous attack for me, but everything's fine, I'm handling it, right? As Soon as I move there, boom. He slices through major, major, um, uh, advantage on his side. So now I am in trouble. I now have checkmate sitting on the board. If I don't do anything, he's, he checkmates me. So I prop up that, pe that pawn. That's probably what I should have done last move. But this one tempo move here basically cost me the game. At which point in time, he puts pressure on that. And notice, I cannot take. I can't go and take this because Taking there leaves checkmate. I can't prop this guy up because it is pinned from this pin. The only option I would have would be something like this, right? To try to drive this guy away. But then he just takes my queen for free. 
and then still leaves me vulnerable to checkmate. So this is a, a very dangerous um, situation that I'm in. I decide to slide my queen out of that thing so I can still keep an eye over here, but now I've blocked in my bishop. And now he's just going to start overloading me with pieces. Now he's making moves. I've stabilized as best I can. I'm not out of the woodwork yet. I am still in trouble. So my goal now is to get this bishop out of the way and get um, castled away from danger. Now there's there's something that um, I haven't noticed yet either, but mostly because I dropped the piece. Hands down, let's, let's look at this. Um, one move, two moves, three moves. On the fourth move of the game, I drop a full piece. That's brutal. And like I said, I can't take it back because taking it back is, is checkmate. So um, he makes a, a fine move here. He's getting himself situated. I get my bishop out of the way. Um, he just, again, starts bringing, throwing pieces down my way. He's got, notice, all of his things are now protected. He's, this guy's, whoever this guy is is playing, knows this attack extremely well. He knows this layout. And I don't. I don't know it really well. And so he is throwing now pieces at me. Um, this knight here is now cutting off some essential squares as well. So even if I were to try to find a way to get more defense over here, this knight is cutting off a lot of work. So knights in front of my pieces, man, this, is, this has got me really nervous and freaking out. And I'm already down material. I throw up this um, bishop knowing it's a lost cause but I'm hoping that I can eliminate some of the danger surrounding me. Notice, if he were to take something like this, then um, I can take back... No, see, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know how to, to, to solve it from here. Um, but he goes with this, this move. This, this beautiful fork that he's got, which forks both, both uh, my king and my knight. Um, I don't know why he goes that route, because I've got the queen to take it. If that queen weren't there, that would have been a much more dangerous move. But because I moved that bishop there, I have blocked my defense across the side. So even though this is not checkmate, because now I've got escape room for my king, I am just losing material fast. Because I moved that bishop, look at this. I even told myself, this queen has to block, protect that square. Right? We said that a thousand times. This queen has to protect that square. And what do I do? I cut myself off. So he's moving the knight. Essentially, he doesn't care that he's throwing it away because he knows now he's got checkmate on the board. But it's not checkmate because I've cleared enough space that I can run away. The only move I've got at this moment in time is I have to run away. He's just picking up free material at this point in time. He is up not only... Let's see, what is he up? Uh, we'll count the, count the imbalance. Um, so here, he's got a free knight. Then he traded um, a knight for a pawn. So he's up only a pawn at this point in time. Now he's up two pawns. Now he's up three pawns. He's got a fine structure. I'm all over the place. I've already moved my king, so I can't castle. Notice, I can't castle, which means my rooks can't connect, which means... I'm in very much danger over here. So I have to get my king up and out of the way. I probably should have done that to begin with. This move here, when I moved my king out of the way, probably should have gone up and out of the way to connect those rooks immediately. Now, notice, this is another capture, which I should have captured back here. Um, but I... I, I at this moment in time, the game to me has gotten out of hand. I'm way out of my comfort zone. I don't know what I'm doing. So he has captured another one of my pieces. I should have captured back. I didn't. I wanted to put pressure on his queen to get his queen out of the way. But look at that. Completely forgot about this guy slicing across, which has been here since the start of the game, right? Completely forgot about it. So now at this point in time, I am down three pawns, a full piece, and a full rook, which is, well, the engine says a whole lot. 
So yeah, I probably could have um, kept trying different things, you know, captured back here. There's no telling what this guy would have done. Yeah, picked up another pawn. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, it's as lost as lost can be at this point in time. And all because it started with this moment right here where I did not notice an attack. Tried to save it as best I could, and I, I was doing okay. Like I was, I was making decent moves to save it, um, and then thinking I had a nice in-between move where I could pressure his queen before recapturing, which would have been dumb because he probably would have just um, stuck his queen right here and defended the piece that he just took. So I made a mistake, and then I compounded the mistake by making another mistake. And so you want to talk about getting hosed? Yeah, that's that's a game getting hosed right there. So the next thing I did was I went back and I re reread up the things I could find on the Wayward Queen attack. Not not really rereading up. I mean, this game demonstrates enough um, the scariness of it. But um, I basically just Googled how to counter the Wayward Queen attack because I mean, look at the this guy is so exposed, right? Surely there's a way to take advantage of him being so exposed, even if we follow the correct move order. Right, even if we would do the, the 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 better system here. See, even even once doing that it gets him back to uh, parity. Um, I, all I have to do is protect this guy, and there's like I said, there's a couple ways that we can do that. Turn the engine on. The engine says either knight up there to counterattack, and that's a great counterattack, man. That would have been fun to do, because that forces him to try to figure something else out because it completely moves his queen off of that danger zone, and then I can start attacking this guy. So. The, the thought process is, yeah, I got my ass kicked, but I've learned a ton by getting my ass kicked because now I can say, okay, wayward queen attack. If you see this queen go out here, you did great, Joe. You did great right up until this point. Perfect by defending here, perfect by putting that knight there. All you had to do was do this instead. And um, don't, don't take your eye off of these long range bishops. All right, <laughs> so I'll catch you guys next one.